Welcome to the Wealth Matters Podcast, where investors come together to better understand how to build passive cash flow and create generational wealth without all the confusing mumbo jumbo. Here's your host and co author of Amazon number one bestseller, Alpesh Pamar. Welcome to Wealth Matters Podcast. As I have mentioned, earlier that I'll be more talking about the current market in real estate, cryptocurrency, stocks, etc., as well as talking a lot about my upcoming book, which would be focused on investing for kids, how to basically teach you know kids about money, finance, investing, etc. But before I get started, I want to wish all of you happy holidays. Hope you guys had a nice uh, Christmas with family. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed the holidays. Um, next week, we'll be moving on to 2024. And I'm wishing all of you happy new year in advance. I hope this new year brings a lot of joy and happiness. And of course, a lot of wealth uh, for most of us or all of us. Thank you uh, for listening again. So for the real estate market, um, you know, I've been uh, researching a lot. Of course, uh, as you know, I'm mostly focused on real estate, uh, some in crypto and, you know, other alternative assets as well. Um, we recently closed on our second mobile home park this year in the Topeka, Kansas market. And so far, we have been able to, even though we uh, closed on October 31st, we have been able to hit the ground running. And uh, we are hoping that we will start uh, paying distributions to investors in uh, January of 2024. So, and that would be 8% per year. So, and that that is what is our target. And I'm not trying to sell the, my deals here, but this is what we are targeting. We are looking for only recession resistant assets, which will give us some kind of tax benefits because we do cost segregation which allows us to write off significant portion of our investment. And then we prefer to start paying out 8% annually to investors every year. Um, I mean, uh, that, that would be paid out every quarter. So talking about real estate, uh, again, um, you know, most of the market or real estate news talk about single family and, and the supply, right? So, so far, it looks like the housing supply may not be able to keep up with demand next year even. So I'm hoping that home builders are able to, you know, build houses much faster and, and uh, that would get the ball, roll, ball, uh, ball rolling in the real estate world, right? Um, and um, also looks like home prices may are expected to be flat in 2024. Again, I don't want that to happen. I think it's about time that we see some real correction, not a recession, but a real correction in the real estate world. Um, but um, so far, um, it may not happen because uh, one, um, we have stopped increasing interest rate and everyone is anticipating that the interest rates will start going down by middle of next year. And second, election is coming. And of course, politicians want to make sure that during the election year, they don't leave the economy hanging. They they want to make sure that, you know, of course they are reelected, right? So they will work hard and most probably prop up the economy somehow. And one way to do is, you know, what I mentioned earlier, number one, um, decrease the interest rates, uh, right? And as soon as the interest rates are decreased, um, I'm pretty sure the sellers who are stuck because, you know, they have had the lowest interest rate ever, um, and um, so what they will do is they will come out from sidelines and try to sell and the market will become hopefully more even. But again, um, I I'm not sure because this market has been very difficult. And um, basically, I was reading about it and the uh, single family market, we are seeing about 50 percent less supply than usual and, and especially comparing it to the pre-COVID era. Remember the COVID era changed a lot, right? So I'm just comparing it to the pre-COVID era. On the multifamily side, especially uh, the inventories are down like 70% year over year. So 
multifamily is even struggling more and because of that the and on top of that the current multifamily owners have messed up because of either the bridge loan or they thought that they'll be able to refinance and now they are stuck but they are not expect accepting the reality that they will have to uh, either uh, do a capital call with investors or put their own money in or sell the property but of course they don't want to sell the property at lower price than they bought so um, that that's that dilemma they are having and this is why we are targeting right now mobile home parks uh, as well as um, we are also looking at self storage but more senior housing facilities and some retail shopping center i think uh, office uh, is going to struggle office buildings will continue to struggle because this remote uh, environment uh, from uh, you know after post covid era will continue and looks like now companies are more uh, understanding that the desire from all the employees right that either they will have to uh, keep them remote or focus on hybrid environment right so so that's another reason uh, office you know space will struggle so so that's my take on real estate right now again uh, things continue to evolve things continue to change and um, you know that means that of course you know um, i'll have more ideas um, but recently uh, going to stocks stocks have been doing great as soon as government said that they are going to, um, you know, stop increasing the rate and may cut down. Uh, I'm, uh, stocks have been on fire, which is very rare. Usually I see that for tax loss harvesting, uh, December month is when people are selling stocks. Um, uh, instead, right now, it's been a buying spree and stocks have been up like, um, you know, pretty crazy high. S&P 500 Dow have been, you know, hitting that all, pretty close to their all-time highs. So, um, and, and same thing, uh, crypto's coming back. Uh, I know I haven't spoken about crypto a lot because cryptos have been struggling, but finally, um, you know, because of multiple reasons, crypto is making a comeback. I think institutions are getting in crypto world. And as we saw uh, during 2018, and then again, during 2020 and 2021, institutions were getting into crypto and that started a bull market. Um, it's continuing now. Institutions are coming back in the game. And also, um, we are thinking, and uh, I mean, when I say we, uh, most of the crypto uh, sphere is thinking that a crypto ETF, a Bitcoin ETF, and then maybe an Ethereum ETF will get approval. And that means that there'll be a lot, that there should be a lot more money pouring into crypto. And in anticipation of that ETF approval, crypto has been going up. Bitcoin hit close to four, uh, or actually hit forty-five grand, and it's back down to forty to nine hundred as we sp as I'm speaking right now. Um, so uh, it's it's do it's doing good so far, and this is just 2023. Remember, 2024 is when Bitcoin halving happens, and um, usually during that halving year, before halving, and you know about. Um, year after halving, the bull bull market continues. So um, I'm hoping to see uh, Bitcoin hit uh, 100 grand by end of 2024. Um, so far, and I was looking at some trending tokens right now. Uh, SEI is trending. Um, Matis, M-E-T-I-S is trending. Of course, Polygon, Matic is trending. Bonk, B-O-N-K and Solana, SOL, this was the top five trending to tokens. I think Bonk, uh, um, I was uh, reading about it. Someone had invested 12 grand in Bonk and uh, it's it's worth some six or eight million at the peak. Uh, and this happened within um, six months or so. So that's how high Bonk has run up. Again, I'm not recommending anyone run up uh, and, and, and go and buy these tokens. But look in these this trending tokens, that will give you an idea. And NFTs are making a comeback as well. Let me know what you guys think of this episode. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Wealth Matters podcast. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating on iTunes so others can enjoy the show too. Have a great week and happy investing.